I'm Brooke Allen. We are at the local kitchen and bar in Ferndale where executive chef Jared Bopkin is going to show us exactly how to make a backyard favorite. Something smells good. Let's go. I'm Chef Jared from Local Kitchen and Bar and I'm going to be making the best backyard burger you've ever had. So we're going to start right now with our burger. It's short rib, brisket, and chuck. And I mean, home cooks, you guys can get this. All you got to do is ask your meat guy for it. Just salt from a distance, like you're feeding chickens, right? I don't know if any of you fed chickens before, but these buns are special made for us by a local bakery, you know, keeping with the local theme. And it's a nice brioche bun. The problem with burgers is everybody gets soggy burgers. All you have to do is toast it. What we have here is a charred onion aioli. Aioli is just a fancy name for mayo. We char onions, we dehydrate them, we grind them up, and we mix it in with the mayo we make here. I'm gonna take an egg, it's, this is a hot skillet. Give it a little bit of salt and literally let it hang out. It'll cook, don't worry, it'll take its time. So now I'm gonna build my burger. Lettuce down first. It holds everything together. It provides our pickled tomato a place to rest. It's like a little bed. And then you're gonna put the burger on top of that so when you take that bite of the burger, that lettuce isn't gonna be going slip sliding all over the place. So now we just flip our burger, and you see we have the nice cross hatches, right? When you start seeing pools on top of the burger, that's when we, if you want it medium rare, you pull it off in like one minute. If you want it longer, you just wait till those pools start dissipating. And that's, I mean, that's how you temp a burger. You don't need to keep poking. You don't need to take your spatula and dig into it. I mean, cause that's just like, you're, you're leaching out all the liquid. Like what, what, what good is that? You might as well eat a piece of shoe leather. Our candied bacon, and we just sprinkle it on. And weird, the aioli holds the candy bacon there. This is all about functionality. So if you look at the burger, you can start to see that right in the center, you're getting that, those red pools. You take your piece of cheese, lay it over the top. So this burger is done, right? And what you wanna do is you wanna let it just hang out for a minute because the excess will drip off. You take your burger, you slide it right on top. And while we're waiting for that, you're just gonna make sure that your egg can move, right? And since I want to speed it up, I'm going to take a little knob of butter and I'm going to baste it. You could do this with steaks, you could do this with fish, you could do it with anything. Egg, set it right on top of the burger, and here we have the best burger in town. Egg, pickled tomato, hydro bib lettuce, candied bacon that's made with just brown sugar and butter, charred onion aioli on a brioche bun. But before that first bite, we get one last bit of advice from our celebrity chef. You don't crush it. That's the most important thing. Do not crush it until you're ready to cut it. So you, you gotta find where the yolk is. So I'm going this way, across the yolk. So now is the crush time. And the most anticipated moment of the day. Big old bite, come on. Yeah, who doesn't like a, who doesn't love a burger? Reporting with one of the tastiest and perhaps the messiest burgers in town, Brooke Allen, WWJ News Radio 950.